Welcome back to Wisconsin Women. We are shooting today at VR Diamond Suite in Madison. We'll be talking with them about bridal jewelry a little yes. bit later on in the show. But first, we want to get you all caught up on what's going on around our beautiful city. We have here the editor of Madison Mad Madison Magazine, Andrea Bailing. Thanks for coming Thanks on for today. Thanks for having me. You mm -hmm. know, and I saw the cover road trip. Yes. Yes. It's the time of year. Oh my gosh. Yes. We've been so excited about this, yeah. this cover story. Where do you oh recommend? Where do we go? Yeah, so right we now? wanted to, we tried to um, spot spotlight some kind of under the radar places because mm -hmm. in you know in my, my my favorite trips are the ones that don't take too long to get to yeah right. um, yep. and you can spend your time kind of enjoying the, yeah. the, the spot so we picked up out a couple of, of smaller towns um, I went to Ottawa Illinois and wrote about that oh, I've I, never been there. yeah it, it's such a cool place I had spent um, time in a salt cave that had six oh, really? tons of pink Himalayan sea salt Ooh, in it nice. yeah so I wrote about for my 48 hours in Ottawa my two associate editors um, went to Red Wing, Minnesota, and okay. then um, Holland, Michigan, that has this tulip festival every spring. Oh, sweet. oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Ah. Um, and then we've got 20 in total um, little towns that have uh, we've get, give all these tips for a spring road trip. Oh, I love that. And yeah. I, I always find it interesting when people travel to Wisconsin or like like you said, Michigan or Minnesota, mm -hmm. and they come from so far to do these little things that we have right here that we never that we take never the time do. to do. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, we oh, we I, feature even a couple of Wisconsin places too because. There is so much just right. in the area that oh, you know these places weren't that that long, you know far to get to. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, and yeah. you also talk about this cold case file, so to speak, that's heating up, yes. so to speak. So let's hear about yeah. that. A little yes. Bit. Doug Moe, He is a former oh, editor of the magazine. Um, he actually um, looked into this cold case that in 1989 um, it kind of fascinated Madison. There was a, a skeleton found in the chimney of Good and Loud Music, a business that was on okay. University Avenue. And the cold case is heating up now. There's this really? um, DNA dough project that is using genetic wow. genealogy that they might be finally be able to figure out who this person was. Oh my gosh. Yeah, oh it's been a gosh. case that's kind of like, you know, dumbfounded people for years yeah. and years. And, um, you know, with new technology, there might be a break in it. So. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, so oh, stay cool. tuned yeah. on that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and one of my favorite places in the city is the Chazen Museum. And there's a can't miss exhibit going on right now. Yes. Suspense suspended landscapes. I know if people haven't seen it, it's all over social media right now too. Mm. It's this beautiful exhibit. It's this uh, Canadian um, artist, Amanda McCoover, who was inspired by Wisconsin's prairie flowers. Um, and she did this installation of these embroidered flowers. It's this whole wall at the Chazen of embroidered flowers. And then she also screen printed them on this fabric that is used in medical applications that dissolves in water too. Oh. Oh um, yeah, so the actual, the flowers on the wall are dissolved in water, these beautiful, intricate little, you know, flower designs. And then she screen printed them on these huge fabrics that um, hang from the chasen. So it's almost like you walk through this suspended prairie flower, um, you know, you're oh, like oh, in, cool. in the middle of this this oh, um, wow. flower field. It's yeah. very cool. Yeah, I bet people oh, are like Instagramming gosh. themselves like oh, crazy totally. in there. Right now. Yes, <laughs> totally. Oh my gosh. I've done it myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of art, you guys always talk, have a little feature on a local artist, a Madison maker, so to speak. Who are we featuring this month? Yes, this month it is Michael Villaquet. Um, okay. He is this awesome quilling artist. And quilling is like, he uses paper to create these huge Huge, beautiful um, kind of architectural masterpieces. Um, well, I, hopefully, we'll show a picture to the audience. It's okay. these gorgeous, really. It doesn't even look like paper, and they're monochrome. Um, he's been. It takes hours and hours for him to finish it. So we we sat down with him and talked about his process. Oh, oh my gosh! And he's right here in Madison. Yes. Oh my gosh! Yeah. yeah. So many talents. There's people. so yeah. much. Yeah. So much talent right here in yeah. Madison. Yeah. And I want to leave on a note that's going to make everybody hungry. I'm sure. But what's <laughs> in your food section this yes. month? Yes. Sandwiches. That's. Our our listing uh -huh. this month. It's picnic season. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> totally. Yeah. yeah, there's a ton of amazing places to grab a like a gourmet sandwich. Mm -hmm. um, Cassetta Kitchen, uh, Alimentari, Frabonis, um, Madison Sourdough. We've got a whole list of places oh, in this issue. Oh, nice. Gosh. Do you know what? Um, since we have a little time, I want to say I, I had never been to Daddy Dumplings before. Oh, really? They have the best veggie burger there. Ooh. Yeah, and I know yes. you've always been on the hunt for <laughs> yes. like the best. Yeah, yes, so I'm, we know. I, yes. Yeah. I'm searching. Oh, that sounds it's great. Awesome. I'll have to try so, that. Sort of a sandwich, but I, but yeah. I just had to give that a little shout out. It was so good. Yeah. We we yes. talked about that with the sandwich feature. Was like what may what constitutes a sandwich? What doesn't? Because yeah. I think there's a debate. I, I'm yeah. pretty sure it's just bread and 
um, whatever veggies yeah. or meat if somebody, you know. Even yeah. a pita, you yes, know, like yes. we, we're, we're expanding. Yeah, it's a gray line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Oh. I, I just think we should sample them all, right? Yep. Agreed. Oh. Well, thanks, Andrea. We had yeah. some really good ideas for yes. of this month and yeah. Yeah. this you. summer. May I love issue. it. Want to check out so this much. May issue of Madison Magazine for your next road trip. Thank yes. you so much. For Wisconsin yeah. Women, I'm Stacey Hansen here with Lee Aker. We will be right back.